I today will be coding this pattern for the current code pen challenge, which is dots and dashes, maybe even make it a bit more interesting, but in any event, we'll be using a single div and not that much CSS. So, if you see my previous videos, then you know I like to do this. On the body and on all div elements, set display grid, and this really helps us simplify things as we move further. We're going to have our div element, and uh, we're going to use its two pseudos, the before and um, the after, and we're going to set content because otherwise nothing's going to show up. And nothing's going to show up if we don't set a property that actually puts something on the screen. For example, box shadow, which is not going to be in the final version, but just uh, to have something in the result panel for now. And you can see the height is zero. So let's fix that. You can see how everything stretches across and that's not what we want. And we're going to set place self center. The default is stretch. That's why they looked stretched initially. And you can see we have the before here and then the after, but we want them stacked one on top of the other. So we want them to occupy the same grid area at the intersection between the first row and first column. And yes, this basically means our div is a one cell grid. So one row, one column, their intersection is one cell. Now, having done this, you can see it only looks like it's in the middle horizontally. And that's because at this point, the height of the body is given by the height of its content, which is these two stacked pseudos. So we're going to need to explicitly set the height of the body to the full viewport height. And yeah, middle, but we have that ugly scroll bar and that's given by the margin on the body. So if we zero the margin on the body, then that gets rid of the scroll bar. And since we're here, let's also set a background. And we don't really want it to be black, but still pretty dark, so something like that. And now we can collapse the body. And uh, we're going to want to have a gradient. And let's say that we're going to want a gradient size. Let's say that's going to be something like 2Ms. And we're going to want to have a color. So something like that. So here, let's set a background. And we're going to have a linear gradient for now, just uh, that color up to black. And let's also set a pattern. Let's set it as a custom property here. So we're going to want to have a linear gradient at 90 degrees from zero to that color to zero. And the thing is, we need to interpolate this because otherwise uh, it's not going to work as a value for a custom property. So like that. Oops. So here. Okay, uh, background position and then background size, like we set it there, the gradient size. What the hell am I typing? If I could use a keyboard, that would be great. Okay, so something like that. Let's see it. Um, yeah, I can't type. What else is new? Okay, now we're going to set background blend mode. Multiply, so something like this. Okay, and one thing about this blend mode is it doesn't matter the order of the two layers that uh, we apply it for. So if we reverse the layers, we get the exact same result. So we can have something like this and the same result. Now we're going to set filter, contrast, pretty large number there. So something like that. And you can see how they end really soon and we want them to go down. So let's say that we're going to use something like RGBA, so something like that, and um, but still more like this because we want them to go all the way to the end and we want less space between them up there so we can add another layer, so something like this and a different blend mode, screen, which is basically the opposite of multiply. Okay, and again, we don't want them to meet. So we're going to use, again, RGBA. Right there. Okay, that looks good. Now we are going to change the pattern on the after pseudo element. So 
we'll be using a radial gradient and again we need to interpolate this right and it goes to black so something like that and again we don't want them to meet right there so let's say it only goes to 75 percent or something like that okay but now we have the after on top of the before so we're going to want to mask portions of the after so um, let's say that we are going to use here mask um, linear gradient uh, let's also compute a mask size so the mask size is going to be twice the gradient size right so it's going to be red up to 50 percent then transparent so it's going to look kind of like this interesting effect there but um, yeah we're going to want to set a size as well so zero zero and uh, I guess it can work to set 100% and the mask size and we pretty much have the result we had before now um, we can tweak the contrast so something like that uh, contrast sorry Okay, so something like that. Uh, let's also set the standard version. Okay. But we can make things a bit more interesting if uh, we change up this mask. So let's say repeating conic gradient. Okay, so this is going to go 0 to 25%, transparent 50%, so kind of like that, and here is going to be the mask size, and uh, you can see it looks more interesting. Now, um, a few more styles right here. So let's say that we're going to have overflow hidden, border radius, let's say seven pixels, and box shadow, two pixels, two pixels, something dark. Okay, so now having done this, I won't be tweaking it any further. I'll be leaving it at this. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have, if you like the work that I'm putting out since early 2012 and you want me to be able to do more in the future, please consider supporting it. You can do so by being a cool cat and becoming a patron on Patreon. Or if monthly support is not your style, there is now the option of a one-time donation. Or you can make me happy with a gift off my wish list. Or you could at least share this to show the world what can be done in CSS these days. Because honestly, I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching. The links for everything are going to be in the description and I'll see you next time.